Greeting to all the students. Welcome to Global Online. As you all are aware that your exams are just next the corner. Hardly two weeks are left for the exam. And definitely every one of you are preparing your best. You are uh, ensuring that uh, whatever efforts you do, uh, you will de definitely these efforts should be able to crack your examination. So for that reason, even we are here to support you, to assist you with your preparation. And for that, we have prepared a mock test for your North State eligibility exam that is 2022. And this mock test will be consisting of the unit that is communication. Uh, it is a request to you all that ensure that you're watching this mock test at in one go so that you will come to know that whatever questions, how the questions are expected, how the questions will be written uh, in the which form and how you can uh, definitely crack them uh, as this at the same time here is uh, a preparationary credit on behalf of global online for your examination that is two weeks are left in two weeks also you can uh, make the miracle happen so we have came up with 40 mock test uh, pdf solutions will be given to you with the answers you will also have previous year question paper solution so that you will get an idea you will be given a notes if you want to scan a last minute revision and 2000 plus mcqs will be given to you if you have any uh, concern or any uh, doubts, the WhatsApp numbers are reflecting on the screen. So you can get in touch with them with reference to any query and you ensure that your this two weeks are, you know, uh, very, very crucial. So you should not definitely leave any any uh, such efforts which will uh, help you to go nearby to your target as well as dream. Question. Noise is known as what? Is it a transmitting barrier? Is it a receiving barrier? It's a center barrier or it is none of this. So noise is nothing but it is one of the barrier which is, you know, uh, which travels when the message is been sent and the message has been received. So you yeah, the right answer. It means the uh, noise is one of the transmitting barrier. Next question, which of the following is not the part of, uh, which of the following is not the part of information, logical, formal, impersonal or perception? So out of this, which of them is not the part of, com that is not the part of information? Uh, so the right answer is perception because perception is, you know, it's like you are thinking, you're not giving an information, but you are thinking something for your own. So perception is an odd man out. Just read the question very carefully. It is talking about what it is talking about, not the part of communication. Next, bright light in a classroom is a type of which barrier? Okay. Is it a physical distraction? It's an emotional distraction. Is it a channel or it's none of this? So definitely channel and, uh, sorry, uh, I mean to say you have one of the answer out of this. That is, it's not a emotional distraction. Okay. It's not none of this. So your B, ideally B and D, it gets cancelled. So if you have a doubt between these two, Okay, whether it's a physical distraction or it is a, it's a channel. So if you know that channel is a medium, okay, uh, so, so basically bright light is nothing but it is one of the physical distraction. Next, closed circuit television that is called a CCT is useful uh, for what? Only for rest a restricted audience residing at a particular place or it is for a large group of communication, only for poor students of the class, or it is for none of this. this. So definitely poor students will not come, so none of this gets cancelled. So you have an option as A and B, where you can read the question very properly and fine. So CCTV is basically a, a particular, uh, I mean, there's a circuit which is useful only for, you know, restricted audience. It gets captured only within the space or area which it, you know, it's it has its uh, uh, wavelength reaching. So definitely the option is your option number one. Next, all are the examples of media of two-way communication. 
media of two way okay that is meeting padyatra street plays or procession so out of these all are two ways except one so here if you see public meeting padyatra or street plays or pro procession and rallies where the people hear and listen but out of this only one in which people just listen that is nothing but it is your option number c that is street play so here the right answer is street play next listening to a lecture is it a informational listening evaluative listening empathetic listening or it is none of this so obviously none of this will not come okay evaluating listening you you don't do it so you have two options left out of which you know you need to remember very well so listening to a lecture is not an empathetic listening it is just called as what informational listening where you get a information or knowledge regarding to the uh, topic which you are listening for next which of the following is not a transmitting barrier transmitting physical distraction emotional transfer a transfer conflicting message or channel barrier which cannot gets transfer from one person to another so the right answer here is emotional transfer you can't transfer the emotions okay from one person to another so this is not a transmitting barrier next if a student doesn't like his or her teacher and so he is never been able to understand the lecture then it is known as what is it a lack of interest it's emotional distraction it's physical distraction or it's lack of sense uh, sensitivity teacher if a student doesn't like her teacher okay so there is you know uh, there is no liking there is casually no like i mean to say there is formally no liking for the teacher and is never able to understand the lecture so such type of distraction is called as what emotional distraction because emotionally you are not able to bond to the people i mean to say whether it is your teacher or anyone else so you are not able to have that emotional bonding and hence it is called as what emotional distraction next which of the following is not an element of communication it's encoder receiver breakdowns all the elements of all are the elements of communication so yes we have encoder we have receiver we have breakdown some communication so ideally there is you know nothing all are the elements of communication okay is not is not i mean to say your this we don't have we don't know what is elements okay so here all the elements of communication is the right answer okay next communication word is derived from which of form of a verb of which language a form of a verb from which language whether it is latin whether it's french whether it's german or italian so the right answer here is italian okay uh, so this is very factual you have to remember this very well communication word is derived from a verb of lang which language that is nothing but latin language next according to berlo communication has how many elements i have taken this model in the last video also uh, that is in the last test also this particular uh, question was asked but in a different way so you have if you know sender message okay channel and receiver so there are how many elements basically there are four elements so the right answer is option number 1 next informal communication within the organization we have been seeing this question comes again and again so you have to be very very careful informal communication is it intrapersonal no it is interpersonal no it is intrapersonal no is it a mass communication no so the right answer is grape wine so your option number d is the right answer next which of the following skills has the largest share in communication uh, time in school and college okay so in school and college which is which plays important or the largest part so normally in school and college is what we do we we'll listen to the lectures so listening reading writing speaking so basically what we do we do listening and then only we can do the rest of the part so which plays the largest skill so that is nothing but it is listening so the right answer is listening skills next 
which of the following methods or methods of the which of the following methods is most effective okay here the question which of the following methods is most is the most effective presenting the writing material presenting writing material along with the flame projector multimedia or cannot be determined so cannot be determined is not an option okay only presenting writing material definitely will not flame projector you don't have it everywhere if it is not possible so the right method will be multimedia method so the right answer is option number three next teaching on tv is superior to the classroom instructions because we very large classes are made possible and thus it is economically advantageous experts for teaching a difficult topic can be arranged and others can be benefited out of it teaching material can be filmed or reuse all of this so if you read the instructions very carefully uh, yes we have a right answer is what all of this because it's economical beneficial as well as it can be reused so the right answer for this question is all of this next the process of communication enhances through belongingness yes security and freedom of making choices yes and formality of meeting and avoidance pressure all of this so yes i mean to say the right answer here it will be what the right answer here will be all of this because the process of communication helps us to enhance all the things giving the belongingness security freedom informality and avoidance of the pressure next which of the following doesn't come under and lack of communication skills lack see please read the question very carefully where they you know many a times they make you um, they twist you the questions with such words so weak reading and listening weak professional and literal vocabulary bad voice or construction of listening so here which does not comes under lack of skills stress all are lack but concentration of listening is what not a lack so the right answer here is option number d next communication means what is it exchange of ideas transfer from one place to another to understand an idea none of this so if you see communication is nothing but basically it is called as what exchange of ideas so the right option here is option number a next communication involves a series of what action uh, sorry reaction action both a and b and thoughts only so definitely it is not only thoughts it is reaction as well as action so your right answer will be on both a as well as b that is option number 3 next a message is what is actually transmitted what a receiver actually receives what a communication actually produces none of this so obviously none of this will not come what a communication actually produces okay or what a receiver actually receives or what is actually transmitted so it's a message we are talking about what we are talking about message so here the right answer is what a receiver actually receives is called as what a message option number b is the right answer next encoding is the formulation of messages in communicator's mind the formulation of messages in receiver's mind coding of whole communication process none of this so yes this is this definitely cannot be the right answer okay why because it's not about the whole communication process encoding formulation of messages in the communicator's mind encoding and then decoding is done okay so it is the option the right option is what option number 1 that is encoding the message in communicator's mind next 21 that is communicator is a person who initiates the process of communication who completes the communication who controls the communication process and avoids the communication process so what is who is the communicator the communicator avoids will definitely not come control will not come okay initiates or completes so if you have the choice between both so your right answer is a one which you know where the communicator initiates the communication process he starts with the communication process next the channel is what medium which carries the message and agent 
an agent who is who encodes or decodes all of this so we don't have this because there is nothing called as agent it is just represented as what it is represented as the medium which carries the message so the right answer is option number a next which of the following mediums is most mechanical mechanical it means where you make use of lot of tools or you know uh, technological upgradations so is it public meeting is it radio is it cinema or is newspaper so if it is more mechanical and as per the technology wise regarding all the aspects so it is none other than the answer is option number c that is cinema okay so right answer is option number c next the react the, the reach of different modes of media is called as the reach of different modes of media is it media reach is it media access it is media exposure or it is media effects so here it is nothing but it is called as media reach the answer is media reach oh sorry uh, sorry sorry uh, yeah we have uh, the question is different modes of the to reach the different mode of media that is media assess to reach it means here you can go and you know assess the things not reaching i'm extremely sorry just correct me over here it's not reach it is media assess next an interpretation which occurs at any point of communication is it noise it is barrier it's distortion or it's all of this so all of this is not the answer so it, whether it is called a noise whether it is called a barrier or whether it is called as distortion so the right answer for this is that is distortion a, an interpretation which occurs at any point of so it is nothing but it is called as what distortion next free press theory prescribes that this is one of the word in communication free press theory so it is basically you know about your views about your opinions so here when anyone any of the person who wishes to you know uh, who or so who who is free to uh, go with what he feels here is called as what press free press theory so the press should be exempted from the tax press should get free travel facility or press should get free communication facility definitely these are not the right answers which you see so it's about individual should be free to publish what he likes next that is option number d is the right answer next which we go which of the following media can be used effectively in large group communication is it a television it's overhead projector video or computer so definitely video and computer are not the option okay so right option here is the overhead projector which we can use for the large group okay so show the ppt so show the slides and with the help of that your audiences can catch what you are you know what you are uh, what you want to communicate next which process of communication is best for controlling noise saying don't talk raising one's voice above student's voice remaining calm and just looking at the student continue te teaching without caring for the noise the best way to control us definitely a and b are not option but here the best option is you remaining calm and looking at the student that will make them automatically control their noise and you know you can start with your process of teaching so the right option is option number c discussion in the class will be more effective if the topic of discussion is not introduced stated before the discussion written on blackboard inform the students well in advance so obviously not introduced and written on the blackboard are the not options stated before the start of the discussion or inform students well in advance if you see the right answer from this that is informing students well in advance not you know stated before here they can't do anything so basically it is what basically it is about informing them well in advance next the communication which trans spires inside a person inside so within a person it's nothing but it is called as intra internal mass or group so it is called as intra intra personal communication so your right answer is option number a next rhetoric means it's like one of the effective communication to pursue it, to you know pursue some someone 
so is it an art of entry source of possibility both a and b or none of this so the right answer is source of pursuing so that is you know it's called as retroactive communication next poor ventilation in the class is known as computing stimulus subjective stress environmental stress or none of this poor ventilation so basically it is nothing but you know it is the environment which is not able allowing you to you know concentrate so that is called as environmental stress so the right answer is option number c next which of the following cannot be used for deaf students is it's blackboard 3d hologram projector the globe or the microphone so obviously deaf students so you will be not using what you will be not using the microphone okay this is the right answer next all are the components of listening except hearing being attentive at attentive attending answering understanding and remembering which are the not all are the components of listening except components of listening so except what answering which does not falls under the category of components of listening it's answering it means you are speaking so the right answer is option number c next the carrier of mass communication is mass media print media electronic or none of this so the basically the carrier of mass communication is none other than it is called as mass media okay the option number a is the right answer next social responsibility theory of press is based on what see social responsibility media serves essential functions in a society society is responsible for the function of press press should perform social duties none of this so basically it is society who is responsible for the what uh, sorry uh, it is basically it is media which serves an essential function in the society social responsibility so media the serves an essential function it means they take the care in the society about do's and don'ts that is media which serves essential function in the society next communication research undertakes specific study normal study general study or none of this so if you see communication research does not take any of this into consideration so the answer right answer is none of this communication is a process of a uh, process what does it means so is it uh sorry here yeah, the answer is already reflected but just just read the question very well communication is a process what what does it means it's an ongoing process always in motion it is hard to tell when communication starts and stops there is no definite time communication is always moving forward and changing continuously yes very true so the right answer for this is all of this next feedback is immediate reaction of receiver response of receiver to communicator's message analysis done by the receiver to communicator's message none of this okay so here for this feedback it's basically the process of communication which gets completed with the feedback so it is nothing but it is the response of the receiver to response very very important to the communicator's message so the right answer is option number b that is response of receiver next which of the following is not true about communication it's systematic uh, communication is a process yes communication is a message and must have a meaning so ideally which is not true so all are true the right answer is option number d according to the next according to crawley which of the following can be result of social isolation is it stress is it disease it's early death or all of this so any of these conditions will lead you to social isolation you will be away from the people so the right answer is all of this question number 42 which of the following depicts the correct is the correct depicts the correct sequence message channel receiver encoder decoder encoder message channel decoder feedback encoder channel message decoder system none of this so the right answer for this question none of this will not come okay this also will not come so whether it is b or c so the right answer for here is 
V that is encoder message channel decoder and then the feedback just remember very well the message which passes through the channel decodes decoded by the decoder and then the feedback comes next the communication between two individuals is called as what is called as intrapersonal mass inter or group between two people so that is called as intra when it is between within the self it is called as uh, it is called as intra and between two it is called as inter so the right answer here is interpersonal communication next the basic process of communication comprises of sender message receiver channel sender channel message receiver sender receiver message channel sender message receiver channel so if see this is not an option okay out of this okay this is also not an option so here out of a and b what is the right answer the right answer is a that is sender message and channel and receiver so sender sends the message by the channel and the receiver receives the message next which is the feedback in newspaper communication whether it is article whether it is editorials or letter to editor or news feedback means when we read the article we write back to them so it is called as what letter to editor so the feedback is in the form of letter to editor next communication in classroom often fails because students are inactive the teacher is monotonous students have no interest or there is very much noise so this is not an option this is not an option even this is not an option so it's about what monotonous it means the same volume the same the stone so that makes the class very you know often the communication fails so the answer is that is option number b next major limitations of mass communication is it's very costly the feedback is weak more time is required and the success depends upon the producer but the major all are feedback but what is the major is that the, the feedback is weak it's very very weak okay there is no guarantee of feedback coming in such type of communications next the most powerful barrier of communication is noise confusion disturbance or lack of teaching aid so the most powerful barrier out of all the four is confusion on the part of teacher if the teacher gets confused definitely the students cannot be you know uh, very well versed with the knowledge so here the right option is option number b effective communication will make the receiver enjoy it accept it pass it on to the others or think about it so basically effective communication enjoys you know the way the communication receives uh, the communication is done and provided to the receiver so that is the option number a is the right answer next communication will be effective if it is delivered slowly and clearly if it is delivered in a calm situation if it reaches the rece receiver completely if it reaches the receiver intended by the sender so here what is the its complete sentence receiver and the way it is intended by the sender so the right answer is your option number d okay so here we are we are with our last question i just request everyone that you know just put on keeping the scores so it helps us you know to come up with the frame of or set of questions for your upcoming mock test so thank you everyone do not forget to put the scores and if you feel you need to get more details you can go to the channel subscribe it and keep studying and ensuring that you know your preparation is just increasing and uh, giving you the best results of your efforts thank you everyone and we will meet in the next mock test